Well, hey, halflings, welcome back. So we are about to start book four of the Magic Treehouse series, and it is called uh, Pirates Past Noon. Chapter one. Too late. Jack stared out his bedroom window. The rain kept falling and falling. The TV said it would stop by noon, said Annie, his seven-year-old sister. It's already past noon, said Jack. But we have to go to the treehouse, said Annie. I have a feeling the M person will be there today. Jack pushed his glasses into place and took a deep breath. He wasn't sure he was ready to meet the M person yet, the mysterious person who had put all the books in the magic treehouse. Come on, said Annie. Jack sighed. <sighs> okay, he said. You get our raincoats and boots. I'll get the medallion and bookmark. Annie ran to get their rain gear. Jack reached into his drawer. He took out the medallion. It was gold. The letter M was engraved on it. Then he took out the bookmark. It was made of blue leather. It had the same M on it. Both M's matched the M that was on the floor of the treehouse. Jack put the medallion and the bookmark into his backpack. Then he drew in his notebook and pencil. Jack liked to take notes about important things. I got our rain stuff, called Annie. Jack picked up his pack and went downstairs. Annie was waiting by the back door. She was putting on her boots. Meet you outside, she said. Jack pulled on his raincoat and boots. Then he put on his backpack and joined her. The wind was blowing hard. Ready, set, go, shouted Annie. They kept their heads down and charged into the rainy wind. Soon they were in the Frog Creek woods. Tree branches swayed, flinging rainwater everywhere. Yuck, said Annie. They splashed through puddles until they came to the tallest oak tree in the woods. They looked up. Tucked between two branches was the treehouse. It looked dark and lonely against the stormy sky. Hanging from the treehouse was a rope ladder. It was blowing in the wind. Jack thought of all the books up there. He hoped they weren't getting wet. The M person's been there, said Annie. Jack caught his breath. How can you tell, he said. I can feel it, she whispered. She grabbed the rope ladder and started up. Jack followed. Inside the treehouse, it was chilly and damp, but the books were dry. They were all neatly stacked along the wall, just the way they had been the day before. Annie picked up a castle book on top of one stack. It had taken them to the time of castles. Remember the night, she said? Jack nodded. He would never forget the knight who had helped them. Annie put down the castle book. She picked up the next book on the stack. It was the dinosaur book that had taken them to the time of dinosaurs. Remember? she said. Jack nodded. He'd never forget the pterodon who had saved him from the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Then Annie held up a book about ancient Egypt. Meow, she said. Jack smiled. The Egypt book had taken them to the time of pyramids. A black cat had come to the rescue there. And here's the book about home, Annie said. She held up the book with a picture of their hometown in it. Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. Jack smiled again. The Pennsylvania book had brought them back home at the end of each of their adventures. Jack sighed. Okay. He still had two main questions. Who was the M person who had put all the books here? And did the knight, Pterodon, and the cat all know the M person? Finally, Jack reached into his backpack. He took out the gold medallion and the leather bookmark. He placed them on the floor, right over the spot where the M glowed faintly in the wood. Rain blew into the treehouse. Brr, said Annie. It's not very cozy today. Jack agreed with her. It was too wet and cold. Look, Annie pointed to an open book lying in the corner. I don't remember a book being open. Me neither, said Jack. Annie picked up the book. He stared at the picture on the page. Wow, this page looks great. She showed the picture to Jack. He saw a sunny beach, a big green parrot sitting in a palm tree, and a ship sailing on a blue sea. Another gust of rainy wind blew into the treehouse. Annie pointed to the picture. I wish we were there instead of here, she said. Yeah, said Jack. But where is there? Too late, came a squawk. Jack and Annie turned quickly. Sitting on a branch outside the window ledge of the treehouse was a green parrot, exactly like the parrot in the picture. Too late, the parrot squawked again. 
A talking parrot, said Annie. Is your name Polly? Can I call you Polly? Suddenly, the wind started to whistle. Oh, no, we're in big trouble, said Jack. The wind blew harder. The leaves shook. The treehouse started to spin faster and faster. Jack squeezed his eyes shut. Then everything was still, absolutely still. Jack opened his eyes. Too late, squawked Polly.